Hi everyone, Christine McKee here from the MTech team and I'm going to show you how you can manage permissions for a Microsoft Teams meeting before the meeting starts to ensure that all of your students joining the meeting join as attendees, not presenters. So here I am in my Outlook calendar in Outlook on the web and I've already created my Teams meeting. So I'm just going to double click to open that event and here I can see the title for the Teams meeting and I can see that Join Microsoft Teams meeting link. But I want to draw your attention to the fine print. Take a close look underneath the Join Microsoft Teams meeting link. Notice Meeting Options. I want you to click on Meeting Options. You will be redirected to the Microsoft Teams Meeting Options or Meeting Permissions window. Here, we can set specific meeting options. For instance, I would recommend for who can bypass the lobby, changing this from people in my organization to only me. This ensures that you, the teacher, have to join the meeting first. Your students cannot join without you in the meeting. Next, let's take a look at who can present. By default, it is set to everyone. We do not want students to have the same permissions as the teacher for presenting. So instead of everyone, I'm going to click the drop down and once again, select only me. And it's important to remember, click save. Once you've clicked save and you see the check mark and done, your meeting permissions are set. You can now go back to your Outlook calendar event and again, copy this join Microsoft Teams meeting link and post this in your Google Classroom. Next, we'll take a look at how this looks as a student tries to join the Microsoft Teams meeting. So here I am in Google Classroom as a student and I'm going to join that Microsoft Teams class meeting by simply clicking on the Join Teams meeting link. When this particular window opens, I'm going to first cancel this pop-up. Most of our students are working on Chromebooks and so they are actually going to want to select continue on browser. This way, they continue on the Google Chrome browser, joining Microsoft Teams meeting online. I'm just going to turn off my video and mute my microphone so that there's no feedback. And notice that I would enter my name and I'd simply click join now. But notice what it says. We've let people in the meeting know you're waiting. So because as the teacher, we set those permissions to only me or only the teacher can bypass the lobby. The student is waiting here in the lobby to be admitted into the meeting. So now I'm going to switch back to the teacher view of Microsoft Teams. And here I am in the Teams meeting as the teacher and I can see that my student is waiting in the lobby. And I'm simply going to click admit to bring them into the Teams meeting. Now, what I really want to show you is the level of permissions they now have. So I'm going to click on the people icon for show participants. And I want you to notice that I'm the presenter, but because I said only me can present in those meeting options, my student is listed under attendees. Now, this makes a huge difference because presenters, let me show you, have the ability to hover over attendees themes, click on the three dots and notice that I can mute a participant, I can pin a participant so that they're the focus on the screen, I can make them a presenter, but I can also remove them from a meeting. Now, we don't want our students to have that power to be able to remove other students from the meeting. We also don't want them to be able to mute other students during the class meeting. So it's a good idea to make them attendees so that they only have the ability to mute their microphone and turn on or off their video. Now keep in mind 
that again, as the presenter, you have full power. So if you did want a student to share their screen, you could always hover over the student's name and click those three dots and simply click make a presenter. And that will give the student the permissions to share their screen.